Nick, you know what time it is? It's, it's time to dump the trailer, right? It's time to take out the trash. Good? Yeah. Gotta hook the chains up. The safety chains. Safety first. Yo. When you hook up a trailer this size, it's a 14,000 pound trailer, you need to have a ball and a tongue that is rated for 14,000 pounds. You know, the, the smaller trailer is a 7,000 pound trailer. That that ball and tongue is only rated for 7,000 pounds. You know. You just hook your belt up for that the, one. The, the belt would work. The belt would definitely work. But, you imagine the disaster if you used that tongue and that ball for this trailer? Uh, it might not be a good scene. Probably not so so good. Definitely not a good scene. The old ball and chain. You gotta get the uh, the brake the brake and the lights the brake controllers the lights hooked up. Let's do it. We'll do a test. You know something? I always wondered. You know, the trailer the brakes and the lights work. Now I know. No one's half the battle. So when you load the trailer, you want to load. Your heaviest items, the weight should be, you know, concrete, whatever it is that you're putting in the trailer. You want to you want to center the heaviest weight over the wheels. You don't want to load it to the front or to the rear, because what it'll do is it'll change the weight distribution and affect the load on the vehicle, the tow vehicle. So you want to hook up your safety chains, the right side to the left side of the of the hitch left side to the right side of the hitch so they cross they cross over you know I don't know if it's if it's true or not but they say that if if the trailer did break loose the chains being crossed would would cradle the cradle the the hitch here I, I don't know I don't know about that but this is the uh, the emergency brakes so this would if it did come loose the trailer this would make the brakes engage it's connected to a switch here this would pull out this would actuate this switch and then the uh, the emergency brakes well the trailer the trailer brakes would would engage and hopefully that they wouldn't go flying down the highway That's the hope. hope hopefully once through here and then latch it onto itself. There we go. Let them put this. It's a lot of a lot of slackage. Oh, that baby's on there now. All right. Now. Before we go and tarp everything, let's just check lights. So I need you to check. I need you to check. Go back with him. These side lights are on all right. Go ahead. Left turn signal. Good. Right turn signal. Good. Brake lights. Good. Go ahead. Good. I think we gotta we gotta take that tire out of here. Just pull it down here. It's all covered. Yeah. I'll get you a strap. Unless there's already one there. Yeah, does it come come down anymore? There we go. You got a strap or no? No. Alright. I got it. The, the wheel chocks have to go in the back of the truck because call me cautious, but call me cautious, but I like to uh, chock the tires when we dump. Because quite frankly. 
with this much weight, you never know. The trailer, once you're dumping, the trailer and the truck could go over into the pit. So, oh, man. one uh, a little extra prevention. You know, what do they say? A pound of, uh, an ounce of prevention is a pound of relief. Right here, cuz. You need to be able to grab it. I like that. That's a good a pound, a pound of, uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of relief. Just an FYI, Jaden Hinson. We, uh, it's in the truck. We got to ship it out, Chief. It's coming. We're gonna try to merge and cross four lanes to cross the bridge with the dump trailer attached. Is the bridge closed? I mean, is the bridge totally closed? No, you have to get right though. You see the they're doing road work up there. That's what this is about. Okay, is that what it is? Yeah, I think that's all it is. It's kind of uneventful getting over. I will attest that to my, my unbelievable driving skills. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when you're when you're when you're towing this dump trailer, it's just you know, it's a lot to pull around, even empty, so full is is just you gotta be careful, you gotta make sure your brake controller is set to the uh, is on the right setting. You know, you got to make sure your load's tarped. You know, you don't want to get pulled over by the state police. Get weighed. You have to make sure you're not overweight. You know, and you're gonna you're gonna make sure your your vehicle, your tow vehicles, can handle it. You know, it's it's you know you're not only you know risking damage to to your your you know your truck your trailer. You're also risking your life. And, and the life of other people when you when you go out on the road when you're, when you're towing so you have to make sure that everything you know you have to do a walk around make sure everything is operational your signals are operational your brake brake controllers operational the brakes are working on the trailer the truck is up to it the brakes on the truck are good the tires on the truck the truck are good there's a there's a checklist a mental checklist that you should be going over before you even hitch up and, and, and begin to tow The other mental part of the checklist that I forgot was when you're towing this thing over the bridge, they charge you twelve dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> Hopefully, I have the cash for me to, to get over the bridge because usually I go over with Easy Pass. What does get unnerving is when it's loaded to capacity is actually dumping at the dump over the over the wall into the pit. Uh, you know, what so happens? Oh man, it just it feels like it's going to drag. When it gets to the apex, the top of its apex, before it actually dumps all that weight in the air, in the dump trailer, it, it feels like the, the trailer is going to like slide over the over the uh, wall and drag the truck with it. It's a little. I gotta admit, no matter how many times I've done it, it's it's just a little unnerving. Stay tuned. This video could be really interesting. The the video is going to be interesting either way. But it could be super interesting, <laughs> depending on what happens at the dump. Yeah. There it is, Delaware Valley Recycling. Got to go on the scale, get weighed in, and then we dump. And then once we're done dumping, we get weighed on the way out. Get the total weight. Uh, anybody that's watching this video, 14,000. 10 situations backing up to the pit. Danger, open pit.
Don't get dirty. So it makes this is what makes it all happen. You're watching it go up and off. Yeah. And you see it start to slide slide back. Tell me there's not like a moment where you say, are you filming right now? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Tell me there's not like a, a, a moment where you say like, this this thing might actually go over. I mean, <laughs> I used to find myself like putting my knee on the on the edge of the truck like I was going to be able to hold it from <laughs> going over the wall. I think super strength will keep yeah. this up. No. But it's it's pretty, you know. I guess the word would be like violent. How it, how it slides out of there, and how it, it shakes the shakes the, the trailer and the truck. Now we have to just get weight on the way out. I guess we'll do the cal we lost. calculation. See, yeah, see what was actually talk, in there. Talk about weight loss. <laughs> how many pounds we lose, cause three thousand seven hundred twenty. Eleven thousand even. <coughs> Would you break wind? It went down 20 pounds. <laughs> All dumped. Ready to reload again. you pull out? Yeah, I guess. Pass by all the used tires, put a dump the used tire right there.
it's a little it's a little different now. Feels a little different. It's a little different now unloaded. Feels a little lighter. That's all she wrote. Dump trailer is empty. We took out the trash. If you if you like this video, we hope you'll give it a like, uh, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you dislike this video, you know what to do. And as always, thanks a lot. Have a great day.